following video is not made for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello to my subscribers, this is the TFNG coming to you with my next review. And tonight we're going to be take, taking a look at the Transform Armors. I think this was officially a the one of the more recent HasLab exclusives. Transformers box sets, it's the Legacy Evolution, Core Class, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee with the Optimus Prime's trailer. So, this is a set that I debated back and forth for weeks about getting, whether or not I would get it or not. But uh, one of the main make it or break it deals, which has been the main make it or break it deal with this set, is the price tag for it. When it was sold at all oh, that uh, Hasbro Pulse originally, it retailed for $40. And with uh, Core Class Optimus Prime and Core Class Bumblebee, core, the price of Core Class figures currently being about $10 each, that means that. The selling point of this box set, which is the brand new trailer designed to extend the vehicle mode for Core Class Optimus Prime, the value of it is $20 going by the retail price tag of this set. And for many Transformers fans and collectors, actors, uh, they personally haven't felt that the price tag isn't ice for, ice tag for this set, it, uh, that the trailer isn't worth the price of two more Core Class Transformers figures. Figures, so yeah, that's been the main make it or break it deal with this set. Come on here to the top of the box, you got the Legacy Evolution logo, and then you've got Optimus Fire and Bumblebee in their vehicle modes, trying to mimic the box art on the front of the box. Uh, the box, the box art just continues around here to the side, so there's no images of Primer Bumblebee's faces. You got half of the poster image for the Legacy Evolution line. Fine. Come around here to the back of the box, you got your product photos. Optimus Prime transforms back and forth between. Robot mode and vehicle mode in 11 steps, the same for Bumblebee. And uh, yeah, these are both, these big Optimus Prime and Bumblebee figures are straight up repaints of the core class Optimus Prime that was originally released in the Kingdom line back in 2021. And the core class Bumblebee figure was actually, actually, it was one of the first figures to be released in the Transformers uh, Buzzworthy Bumblebee line. It was sold with a tiny little uh, transforming figurine of uh, the Exosuit version of Spike. Like, I think that came out either in 2021 or 2022. Ooh, and uh, because uh, both of the first releases of these core class figures were uh, pretty decent enough Transformers action figures that everyone got them out for the first time, the selling point for this set is Optimus Prime's brand new, core class Optimus Prime's brand new trailer. There's some product photos of it. There's just barely enough room for core class Bumblebee to be stored inside the trailer. And just like Gen Optimus Prime's, uh, the original Transform 1 trailer, you've got the repair drone, and you've got Optimus Prime's partner of Autobot Roller. Roller, the trailer rolls around fairly well, and the stripes are painted similarly to Generation 1 Optimus Prime. The main gripe I have with the trailer is that the hubcaps on the wheels are unpainted black plastic, whereas Optimus Prime's hubcaps are painted silver, so I may swap out Optimus Prime figures and give the trailer to the original Kingdom Core Class Optimus Prime figure since its wheels are uh, unpainted black plastic as well. You know, just so visually there's more coherence with the wheels on the figures. Figures and um, one thing to note is that on the product photos here on the back of the box, I think Hasbro and Naratomi recycled uh, the product photos of the original Core Class Buzzworthy Bumblebee figure because I seen some reviews and. Uh, the highlights on the new Core Class Bumblebee figure, I, they aren't black, they're actually gray. The box art gets it right, with Bumblebee being gray. Bumblebee's uh, bumper and tires being gray instead of black. Why they didn't do it for the box art, I don't know. No, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, another thing that, another feature, selling point for this set is that Optimus Prime actually comes with the uh, Core Class Battle Axe weapon that it was originally, it actually originally came with the Core Class. Uh, Nemesis Prime figure that was released in Legacy. The uh, Core Class Optimus Prime, he has the, his iconic uh, Ion Blaster. So yeah, the, uh, Axe the Axe came with the Nemesis Prime release of the mold. Oh, then it was, uh, I think it was made out of black plastic and then painted metallic teal. Teal for Nemesis Prime, so that's another selling point for this set, is that Optimus Prime now has the orange. Energon Axe that he used just one time in the second episode of the Transformers Generation 1 series to try and uh, stop Megatron. 
on. And it's a shame that in popular fiction, Optimus Prime hasn't deployed his Energon Axe uh, that often in more recent times. Because I think that uh, the Energon Axe could be a great uh, melee weapon for Optimus Prime to use. Uh, but regardless, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, here on all the product photos on the back of the box, what you see is what you get with this set. And so, uh, uh, I just lost my train of thought for a moment there, but basically, yeah, yeah this is, uh, as far as being a must-have figure, I'm jumping the gun on the head since I normally save uh, whether or not this is a must-have figure or not for the end of the video, but but uh, because a lot of Transformers fans and the collectors think that this is one of the best examples of a Transformers set where the retail price is too much, it's too high. I, uh, the price tag is ultimately going to be one of the best bank it or break it deals with this uh, core class at Legacy at Transformers Legacy Evolution two pack, two pack because uh, it's a it comes down to the debate of whether you uh, the question of whether you think the trailer is worth the extra twenty dollars to get an extra. Optimus Prime Bumblebee action figure. That is, if you're buying the set solely for the trailer. Hey, so without further delay, let's get this, get these figures out of the box and take a closer look at them. I saw a video review the other day. I think they're packaged in alt mode, so that's where we will start. So let's get these guys unboxed and take a closer, closer look at them. All right, and so before we actually get the figures out of the out of the box, this is what they look like packaged inside, and. I said this in my review of the uh, Legacy Year One Alpha Trion and Orion Pax box set. And so, just like that set, here for the Core Class Optimus Prime won't be with the trailer. Look at all the empty space you've got inside here. Now, granted, I know oh, that giving space means that the means that there's a, it decreases the chance of the figures um, rubbing up against each other when they're inside the bo box, box before they're actually opened up. But there's enough space here for another core class figure to fit inside. I mean, bring in another core class figure. Figure, take a look at that. There's enough space that core class Megatron could fit in there. Air comfortably. So there, there could have been up to three core class figures inside. By this thing, maybe four. Let me see. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, take a look at this. Yes, there's room for up to five core class figures to fit inside here. So. Um, this basically just reiterates uh, what I said and before that the uh, Hasbro Plus exclusive Transformers figures. I personally think Hasbro and Cartomi are packaging them in boxes that are too large for what you actually get it inside. So I think that's a trend. I think that's a trend is that the Hasbro Plus exclusive merchandise is sold in oversized boxes. So I don't know if that's to increase the price or what, but but I think that it's something that is definitely unnecessary all right so out of the box here's what you get it you get of course core class optimus prime and bumblebee and then inside wrapped up inside a piece of paper you get an additional six accessory pieces this is the most exciting of which for me personally is roller who is a he's actually able to roll, roll around surprisingly well even though his wheels are uh, Heels are pegged onto him instead of pinned onto him, so it's a tad, tad of shame of that. But I think this might rival the version of Roller that came with the world's smallest Optimus Prime figure several years back, and this might be the smallest Roller figure we've gotten. And anyways, for weapons, you get the same uh, Ion Blaster that came with the original Core Class Optimus Prime figure as I accidentally drop it. It's cast in blue plastic, as you can see here by the handle, and then it's painted gunmetal gray all over. It's the same with uh, Optimus Prime's Energon Axe. It's cast in blue plastic, and then it's painted, painted completely orange, save for the uh, inserts near the base of the axe. And I kind of wonder why they didn't just cast the axe in orange plastic and plastic instead of, instead of uh, doing what they instead of doing it the way they did, where it's blue plastic painted with orange paint all over. Because of course, there's a fear that over. There's the possibility that over time, even if you're careful, the paint will eventually chip off and reveal the blue plastic underneath, so... Hasbro, Dakar, Tommy, why didn't you do this in orange plastic from the get-go? Anyways, and then... Because uh, Kingdom Core Cla because the Core Class Optimus Prime figure, even though it has a 3mm peg on the back, activate in truck mode, by all accounts, it wasn't originally designed to have a trailer attached to it, and evidence of that is, can we see by the fact that 
Optimus Prime, one of his new weapons is a riot shield that doubles as a as the trailer hitch for a vehicle mode. Oh, I'll show that off in just a second. Then you get two laser guns that, according to the instruction sheet and the images on the back of the box, you get this brand new laser gun that's designed to be used with Bumblebee. I don't know if this laser gun came with any previously released uh, core class figures, and then this tiny little uh, gray blaster one is the one. Same laser gun that originally came with the Buzzworthy core class Bumblebee figure a year now. I originally, I got the uh, original core class Buzzworthy Bumblebee figure a year because uh, it was pointed out that it looked a lot like gen the Transformers character of Bumper from Generation 1, so I don't know what I'm going to use this, use this version for, or I might... Uh, might find a use for it, but out of the packaging, I noticed that uh, one of Bumblebee's wheels is warped on the back here. See if I can fix it. I don't know why it's warped, but you can see right there it's denting inward. So yeah, out of the box, this thing can't even roll well. So hopefully, after transforming it, maybe whatever's misaligned in there, I can. Get to line back in place, but it's a tad discouraging seeing that happen out of the box. The characters, the Bumblebee figure, the back wheel wants to basically do that and go un inward and underneath the figure. A year or so uh, out of the box, Bumblebee is uh, not the best figure. Optimus Prime is pretty okay for what he is. Um, the wheels, the hubcaps here are painted silver. They're over, unlike the core class Optimus Prime figure that was originally released in the Kingdom line. And the main difference here is that this version is trying to go for a cartoon accurate paint job, while the uh, uh, Kingdom core class Optimus Prime figure tried to go for a more Generation One action figure accurate paint job here. So the original core class Optimus Prime figure, the parts that were cast in gray plastic, they're now white plastic on, on the version that comes on the box set. The shade of red is a slightly brighter shade of red, although my camera is uh, making it difficult trying to distinguish between the two of them, but it is definitely a brighter shade of red plastic used on this one than this one. And over here, um, the Autobot logos. logos. I don't know how well my camera is going to pick it up, but on the Core class one that comes in the box set, the Autobot logo on Optimus Prime's shoulder is slightly larger than the one that came on the individually released figure. Figure, um, I think the shade of blue used on the legs is the same, but then one difference that I don't, we don't even have to wait for Raw to see it is that the, uh, uh, I think these might be, uh, wind vents. I don't know, but anyways, these Optimus Prime on the Original core class figure, Optimus Prime shins are painted silver, silver, and on the new figure they're unpainted. Painted, uh. Let's see what else. Um, there is a lot more silver on the original core class figure here, here compared to the new one. It's only the grill, the headlights, and the front bumper that are painted silver, while on this one the, uh. uh sculpted is detailing. Anything around the base of the cab windows. Windows is painted silver. So as far as which one has more silver paint, paint which core class Optimus Prime figure has, I think they're probably, uh, I was about to say they're evenly matched, but I'm leaning towards the original core class figure having slightly more paint apps than the new one. And also the windows are a different shade, shade of color. On the original core class figure, the windows are gray, and on this one they're a shade of blue. Ooh, so, uh, ooh, so, surprisingly, between both Optimus Prime and uh, uh, Core Class Bumblebee, bringing in the original Buzzworthy Bumblebee for a size comparison with the Core Class figure here. And again, you can see there on the back how the right out of the box, that one wheel here is warped. Warped and not sitting flat against the ground. And, but the main difference is that the parts on the original, uh, uh, buzzworthy core class Bumblebee figure that were done in black. They're now gray on this one. And that's pretty much it. The shades of yellow used on both versions of Bumblebee are the same. 
aim. It's the same uh, paint apps with the Autobot logo and the windows. Although I do notice, I don't know if my camera's been able to pick it up, but the uh, uh, shade of the shade, the paint used on the windows on the original Buzzworthy Core Class Mobile figure, they're a they're a much dar they're a slightly darker and more metallic shade of blue paint compared to the lighter blue paint used here on the uh, new core class figure as you can see there my camera's uh picking up the difference between the windows a bit there in there but between both of these uh both versions i'm still leaning towards the original versions being better up and as you can see here on the original buzzworthy bumblebee the panel sections are lined up perfectly these were fresh out of the box this one they aren't so i'm hoping that's just something I mean, that will fix itself once I transform it into robot mode. Oh, and you can store uh, or uh, the original uh, gray pistol here on the underside of right of a uh, bumblebee, just like on the original Buzzworthy figure. A year, so you can use your imagination and pretend that it's an exhaust pipe pipe sticking out underneath there. And then as for weapon storage for Optimus Prime stuff, it stores inside the trailer. So without further delay, let's get take a look at the uh, selling point of this box set. Hasbro and Dekartomi designed a brand new trailer for a core class Optimus Prime. So just like Generation 1 Optimus Prime, he is now a quote-unquote 18-wheeler semi-truck complete with a trailer. And this has been one of the paradoxes with Optimus Prime figures. I did a discussion video on this on my channel when I first started off. As to whether or not uh, Optimus Prime action figures are better if they come with a trailer or if they don't. And in my discussion video, I boiled it down to the discussion of Optimus Prime's trailer being sold with Op Optimus Prime figures. It's a question of do collectors prefer paying an extra $20 for what could essentially just end up being a plastic box on wheels. And with the price tag of this uh, core class set at being a difference of $20 compared to the core class figures individual releases that debate hasn't changed so you get some cardboard stuff in here to protect the drone oh and out of the packaging toss that aside so here's the trailer opened up just like generation one up in this prime's trailer you know you open up and you can uh you can extend the drone here here i think the drone yeah it is the drone is detachable so if you wanted to you could uh detach it and use it elsewhere if you want but setting it up here, here's the drone. When extended, and it uh, it does have a, uh, and the top of the drone itself is also removable, so that's a nice play feature there. So you've got the uh, rotating uh, uh, radar dish. You've got a window for the cockpit section for when when a diaclone pilot would sit in there. You've got the mechanical arm on this side as well, but the claw doesn't open up unlike the Generation One figure, which is. Kind of a shame. Anyway, since I think this is, uh, these claws are only half the size of the original figure, but figure, and then of course you can stand Optimus Prime's trailer upward, and it can be a repair bay. And so here's the repair bay with the drone fully extended upward. So that's a nice thing there. I probably should have saved all the features of the trailer for when we get it Optimus Prime transformed into his robot mode. But there's storage for. All of Optimus Prime's accessory pieces, including roller. Oh, there's so getting the drone transformed back down. Down and there's a storage, but there's sto there's special place here to store all of the weapons for Optimus Prime. Won't do them just yet, but uh, yeah, but if you Want just like Generation One Optimus Prime, you can put roller on here. And on the original Generation One figure, there was a button that would launch it, so you can if you want to use gravity and gravity and have roller free fall off of the trailer. Yeah, there. And it has support struts, so you can have it standing upright right, without attaching it to Optimus Prime. So let's take the trailer hitch, hitch attach it to the Optimus Prime trailer that it was originally meant to come with. And with and unfortunately the peg egg for the trailer hitch isn't that long. Um so it very loosely fits in there, but there at long last 
And as for those of you who have always want, wanted to see it, see it since this vid, since Core Class Optimus Prime was released in 2021, here's what he looks like with the trailer behind him. Behind him, and just like Generation One Optimus Prime, the trailer is a little bit oversized compared to Optimus Prime. Most trailers, trailers that semi trucks pull are level with the roof of the truck. Uh, the trailer isn't taller because of wind resistance. If the truck's moving at fast speed, the wind's going to be hitting the surface of this trailer, and so the truck speed isn't actually going to be traveling that fast. But the proportions are accurate to the original Generation 1 Optimus Prime action figure. And so what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to give the trailer here to my original uh, Kingdom Core class Optimus Prime figure from 2021 because of this right here, the unpainted wheels match up better with the trailer. Ailer, so that's what I'm going to do. This is probably going to be the core class Optimus Prime figure that has the trailer from now on. Now and then I'll set this one aside. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And of course, for a one last special size comparison, since I had him out here a moment ago, here's core class Optimus Prime in the trailer. Ailer next to core class Megatron. And even with the trailer now attached to him, and because Megatron is a bulkier core class figure, I still think he can still hold up to Optimus Prime, even if even with the trailer now attached to him. Damn it, that's pretty much it. It for these guys in vehicle modes. Let's get them transformed into their robot mode and we'll wrap up the review. Alright, and so here they are transformed into their robot modes. And uh yeah, like I said, uh the main difference between both versions of Bumblebee is the box set figure, you hear the evolution figure comes with a uh, gray parts. The original Buzzworthy version came with uh, black parts. And then comparing the two Optimus Prime figures together, the main difference is that the parts on the original Core Class figure that were gray, they're now white on the new figure. So it's primarily the robot mode hips and pelvis that are different. Uh, there's diff this one has a brighter shade of red than this one. And, but, but apart from a few paint differences here and there, they're pretty much the same figures. As far as uh, differences in the joints, the joints on the new Bumblebee figure feel weaker than this one did. It, uh, the joints on this one are slightly looser than the original Core Class figure, but transformation was basically about the same. For weapon storage, you get the axe. On this side, you got the two uh, black laser guns stored over here. I stored the laser gun from... Kingdom Optimus Prime, since I'm going to give the trailer to him. And the trailer hitch can even be stood here on the inside of the base of the repair bay. And then, of course, you got Roller down here as well. Alan, so uh, if you have the Core Class Nemesis Prime figure, then you know that. Oh, how it. Uh, here, you know how the axe goes. And I love that you can actually. You actually have to flip the hand away. Because that's how Optimus Prime deployed his axe in the G1 cartoon, as he would uh, retract his hand into his lower arm and the axe blade would come out, come out on top in place of it. But yeah, there's all there's Optimus Prime and Bumblebee next to their original counterparts and also Core Class Megatron for a special size comparison. So, setting these figures off to the side. I did. I, again, the selling point of this set is the new trailer for Core Class Optimus Prime. I am, and while I do think it is a great trailer for it, the price that the box set goes for, I personally don't think it's worth it for what you pay. Maybe if it had been sold for thirty dollars instead of instead of forty, already I think that a lot of Transformers fans and collectors would have said, "Yeah, this is a must-have Transformers figure. Go out and buy it. Grab yourself a copy right now." Now before it sells out, but because of the price type being forty dollars and Hasbro basically saying the trailer costs the equivalent of two core class Transformers figures, even though it's a plastic box. Uh, I think that uh, for many Transformers fan collectors, that was the make it or break it deal with the uh, with this box set. And so it's still going for more than retail price on Amazon.com, which is where I bought the set, but. From the uh, from the number I've seen available on on Amazon and also the copies of this set that I've seen selling on eBay, 
eBay. Uh, as far as the proverbial question to end the review, do, do I recommend getting this set and adding it to your Transformers collection? Is it a must-have? I have, Trent, I have uh, Transformers uh, Legacy Evolution set to have, have in your Transformers collection. To be honest, I'm going to say this. No, it's not one of the top must-have Transformers figures of the Legacy Evolution line. But if you're a fan of Optimus Prime and you're a fan of him being a complete semi-trailer, Halo Tractor Cab, Abba, 18-wheeler, big rig, then this set is a must-have for the core class trailer that you get here here in this set. But as far as the inclusion of Bumblebee, I think Bumblebee was an unnecessary uh, area re-release because I've seen many Transformers fans and collectors who went out and got the buzzworthy uh, core, original core class Bumblebee figure. And it even appeared on the shelves of those of discount retail stores for I think like only six or seven dollars. So, oh, so Bumblebee definitely was not a must-have figure. If I had been in charge of this box set, it would have swapped out Bumblebee, and I would have had it in a uh, versus pack where you had Optimus Prime battling against Megatron. On so, if they had re-released uh, Core Class Megatron in a more uh, G1 cartoon. Accurate paint job compared to his uh, Kingdom Core class figure. They released Megatron in this set and made it a uh, Optimus Prime versus Megatron two pack instead of Bumblebee. I think then more Transformers and the collectors would have warmed up to this set. And, but as far as recommending getting this set, like I said, I only recommend getting it if you're an Optimus Prime fan. If you and if you want to see Core class Optimus Prime having a trailer, either being pulled behind him, then I recommend getting this set. But if you think the set is too expensive, if you don't think the trailer is worth it for the price you pay for the pay for these Transformers figures and the new new additional weapons, uh, weapons don't add on anything to it, then this can be an easy pass, especially considering that it's a, officially a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. So the only place to buy it, buy it really, is on the internet. It's not sold at any brick and mortar stores here in the United States. Eight. So uh, yeah, this is. Uh, Either you want it or you don't want it, and there's not much middle ground for for this set. But this has been my review of the Transformers Legacy Evolution and Hasbro Plus Exclusive Core Class Optimus Prime on Bumblebee with Trailer. I recommend you get this set if you're an Optimus Prime fan, but if you're not, not really a fan of the uh, and of Optimus Prime's trailer or Core Class size Transformers, then this set can be an easy pass. Thank you guys all so much, and until next time, you guys, this has been the TF Fan Geek. And remember, you guys, stay safe, stay healthy. And uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving here in the United States, so happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Until next time, you guys, transform and roll out. Goodbye, everyone.